So Google have just announced Carbon, their experimental successor to C++. Today I'm going to show you how to install and set it up on both Windows and Linux. So for Windows, uh, you first need to get an IDE installed. So for this I'm using Visual Studio Code, which can be installed at code.visualstudio.com. So currently Carbon is only supported on Linux and Mac. So to get it working on Windows, we need to install Windows Subsystem for Linux, which will allow us to run a Linux machine within our Windows system. So to do that, let's open up PowerShell as admin, right click on the Windows logo and click Windows PowerShell Admin. Then run the following command, WSL dash dash install. And this is going to enable all the components you need for Windows to run WSL. It will also download the latest Linux kernel and then it's also going to install a Linux distribution too. For this, it defaults to Ubuntu. This can take up to 10 minutes to install, um, but once it's done, it will tell you that you need to restart your machine. Once rebooted, it will then continue with the installation by setting up um, Ubuntu for you. Now it's asking for a username and password. These are going to be new credentials that you're only going to use with Ubuntu. Perfect, now that that is complete, we've got Linux running in our Windows machine. Before we can install the Carbon language, we first need to install Homebrew, which will then allow us to install Carbon later. To do this, we need to run the following command in our Linux machine, which will fetch and run the Homebrew install script. It might prompt you for your Linux password again, so make sure you uh, put this in. And then it's going to let us know all the packages and directories it's going to install and create for us. So we just need to click enter to confirm this. Perfect, now that Homebrew is installed, we can set it up by installing a few commands that it suggests for us here. Be careful to copy these commands directly as they vary depending on your username. Now that that is done, it's also recommending that we install build essentials with this command. Perfect, and that's brew set up. Um, we now need to install GCC via brew, um, which will confirm that brew is working for us. Amazing, we now have a Linux machine with Homebrew installed. We can now start installing the Carbon language. First thing we need to do is install BaseLisk, which is a launcher for the Bazel build tool that Carbon uses. So the command to do that is brew install BaseLisk. Now that that's complete, we need to install the LLVM compiler with brew install LLVM. And now that LLVM is installed, we can add it to our path with this command. Finally, because we're on Ubuntu, we need to install the zlib development support files with sudo apt install zlib 1g dev. With the builder and compiler installed, we can now download the Carbon language with the git clone command. Once this is downloaded, we can use the cd carbon lang command to change directories to the newly installed language. Amazing, we've now got Carbon set up. Let's run some Carbon code to see how that works. So if we use this nano command, we can take a look at the example Carbon code that we'll be running. With this file open, I'm going to edit it to say Hello Ryan, and then I'm going to save it by clicking Control X, pressing Y to confirm to save it, and clicking Enter. So now we can compile and run this code with this Bazel run command. And now you can see it works. It's printed Hello Ryan to the command line. We can now run Carbon files on Linux. So the next thing to do is take a look at Windows. To do this, we can use VS Code to connect to our Windows subsystem for Linux and run Carbon via that. So let's open VS Code, click on Extensions, and install the Microsoft Remote Development plugin pack. This will allow us to connect to our Windows subsystem for Linux machine from VS Code. Now that it's installed, we can click on the new Remote Explorer tab and select WSL Targets. Here we should see our Ubuntu Linux machine. We can click connect and a new VS Code window will open that is connected to our Linux machine. With this new VS Code window connected to Ubuntu, we can click file, open folder, and here we can see the folders on our Linux machine. Let's enter carbon-lang and click OK. We then need to accept that we trust all our files from our Linux machine, and here on the left you can now see all the files that are on our subsystem. Let's navigate to the test carbon file we were using earlier at explorer, test data, print, formatonly.carbon. I'm also going to open a new terminal by clicking Terminal, New Terminal, which as you can see here is connected to our Linux machine as a Linux user, Ryan. So now we can change the code to say Hello Ryan from Windows and then run the same Bazel run command that we ran on our Linux machine. And you can see it's worked, it's printed out Hello Ryan from Windows. And that's it, you've now got Carbon set up and can do development from both the Linux machine as well as your Windows machine too. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Carbon and what you plan to make with it.